Dillian White says, even at my worst, I could beat Alexander Povetkin after he's been brutally knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. Hmm. We're going to try to break this down in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Let's jump right into it. Dillian White did an interview with Rematch Room and regarding the Povetkin 2 fight, he says, quote, this is the biggest fight of my career. I'm coming off a of guy Povetkin and obviously it's the biggest fight of my career. But the good thing is, it's heavyweight boxing. One fight changes everything and we'll see. I'm sure this time when I beat him, we'll see what people are gonna say. One, two, three losses mean nothing to heavyweights nowadays. If you're fighting good fighters, the main thing is you can come back. This is a must win fight for me. I'm not a guy that is worried about pressure. I take it in stride. I'm very adaptable kind of guy. I do whatever I need to do to get the win. If I have to rough a guy up or outbox a guy or knock a guy out, I'll do whatever it takes to get the win. The plan is to try to come and knock someone out if I can, right? This time I'm much more together. I know deep down I could beat Povetkin anyway. I know 100% the best of me. Even the worst of me, I know that for a fact I carry power in both hands, but Povetkin is a very cagey guy, very experienced, a very patient guy, very tough guy. The last time I didn't land properly and he went down. He showed resilience and he got up and stopped me. So this time I need to make sure that when I hit him, he stays down. I made a mistake and straight away, I knew the mistake I made. I didn't take, it didn't take me long to realize the mistake I made, then it was okay. Okay, it's heavyweight boxing. I wanted to get straight back in there and just get it over with and done straight away. My mindset is that I'll do whatever I need to do. I'm not worried about my career best performance. I'm worried about getting the win. I've still got loads of fight in my career and I'm ready to go. When I touch him this time, his whole body is going to vibrate. I'm coming to do what I do best, and that's to inflict pain. If that's make it a dog fight, then I'm gonna make it a dog fight. Last time I was boxing and fighting a bit. This time is gonna be a different story. Real, real different this time. Now, he says that even at his worst, he can beat Povetkin. And I'm pretty sure that makes no fucking sense since your last performance, you didn't beat Povetkin and were brutally knocked out with a singular punch. So you can't say at your worst you can beat him because at your worst, if at your worst you can beat him, then what was your last performance? What is lower than worse? You know what I mean? And if a guy knocked you out, then he knocked you out. It is what it is. So you can't beat him at your worst. So to me, it sounds a bit like Dillian White is trying to psych himself up and hype himself up for the rematch and saying, oh, I love pressure and it's heavyweight boxing, anything can happen. You know, and this is what guys tend to do when, you know, they have difficulty embracing the L or the loss. They say, oh, but Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson and all the greats lost, Lennox Lewis lost, but that's true. But Lennox Lewis lost to Oliver McCall and Haseem Rahman, you know what I mean? Um, Muhammad Ali looking to the guys he lost to you know what I mean so it's, it's we're talking about different things Povetkin at the point of his career he's not considered especially off of the Meldonium he's not considered to be top three or four in the division or anything like that and he's 41 years old and he knocked you out not just like oh you were TKO'd and concussed a little bit you know what I mean buzzed rattled you were like brutally knocked out so We'll see how it plays out. Um, Dillian White, you know, he got a little bit of a reprieve because the fight was supposed to happen, I think, in December of last year. But it got pushed back because Povetkin had tested positive for Rona. So, you know, we have to see. I don't know how Povetkin's doing. Um, you know, it's hard to to anticipate or or tell you because different the Rona hits people different. So if you don't have your breathing under control or you're months later, some of the people are still dealing with ramifications. You know, if, if he did really have the Rona and he had a bad case of it, who knows how he'll look. So we'll see how it all plays out is this weekend. I almost forgot about the fight. I haven't really haven't heard any major promotion, 
and things like that but we'll see how it plays out it just didn't make sense what dillian white was saying even at my worst i can beat him at your worst you could beat him but your last performance was your worst and you didn't beat him and you were brutally knocked out and the other thing is it doesn't seem like there's drug testing they're doing this fight in gibraltar but like is there any kind of drug testing for this particular fight that seems a bit odd as well that eddie hearn and rematch room continue to do these fights in obscure locations like gibraltar and saudi arabia and no one knows of the testing protocol last povetkin fight dillian white was training in portugal and who knows who he's training with he switched trainers who knows who he's tra where he's training and stuff like that and i haven't really heard anything about the protocol so i'd like to get a little bit more intel as to this heavyweight fight and it seems like dillian white you know especially for a person who's failed multiple drug tests even though he was later cleared by ucad ucad does some fishy stuff he also has controversy with his gloves like in the oscar revis fight so i i definitely feel like the heavyweights they're they're the big dogs in boxing the highest weight you could go up and we need to see fair fights and you know just overall fights that that are clean and um handled as such because it's a very dangerous sport in any division let alone the heavyweight division where one punch can truly shift things let me know what you guys think dillian white he sounds like he's trying to gas himself up we'll see how it plays out in the rematch as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider two buddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.